So I'm the project scientist for a project called OMEGA, which is an acronym for Offshore Membrane Enclosures for Growing Algae. And when I'm talking about algae, I'm talking about microalgae, not the algae that you make nori out of, but microalgae that are tiny, single-celled organisms that are fast-growing and produce lots of oil. My background is I have a PhD in marine science, and I've been working for NASA for the last 14 years. The core message is that it's clear that we need to move on from fossil fuels because of global warming, because of national security, because of ocean acidification. There's lots of environmental and national reasons why it would be great to move beyond fossil fuels. The question is whether we could use biofuels. And to use biofuels, it's clear that we cannot, we cannot compete with agriculture. We can't compete with agriculture for water, we can't compete with agriculture for fertilizer, and we can't compete for land. And therefore, we've reasoned that if we can grow microalgae that produce oil on wastewater, which is the sewage that comes out of our households, that has plenty of nutrients to grow microalgae, we solve the water and the fertilizer problem. And if we can grow those same microalgae offshore, in the marine environment, we solve the land problem. And Korea is wonderful in that you've been expanding beyond your, your boundaries by either being the fifth largest importer of fossil fuels, you should be really interested in the possibility of creating a biofuel using your wastewater and using your coastal waters. The problem is how do you grow enough microalgae to really make the system work? And it's pretty clear we can't do it on land because we would need hundreds, even thousands of hectares to be able to grow sufficient quantities. And because of the limitations of land and limitations for fresh water and limitations for fertilizer, we have to figure a new way to do it. So we've been thinking out of the box, actually offshore.